Um, we hope that everybody in the Brave Nation has been safe uh, during this time, and and uh, we know that everybody's getting anxious uh, to come back, and and uh, we are as well. Uh, we, we're trying to get some things closed out for the, the school year now that everything's been officially canceled for spring sports um, around the state and, and around the nation. Uh, but we wanted to make sure that just because uh, we cut some of the things short that you know we don't uh, have a lack of uh, knowledge or, or appreciation uh, of anybody that has been doing things for our school and uh, this community for such a long time. Uh, we still are super grateful for all of our seniors and all the time that they put in. Uh, we're also extremely grateful for uh, all of our coaches and the time that they, you know, they, they put in in preparation for the season and, and for all the things that they've done uh, leading up to it. Uh, we wanted to, to, at this time, to, to just kind of go over some of the things and uh, some of the awards and, and, and mainly one of the main awards that we, we consider to be one of our highest uh, things in our athletic department, that's a four-year letterman. The reason why we consider that to be one of the highest things is because of that's just basically that shows a complete well-rounded uh, kid that, that we, we have pushed for four years uh, and they've given us everything they have for four years. Uh, whenever you have such dedication and loyalty uh, to a program, you know, and continue to persevere, uh, you know, that's something that, that we uh, hold in high regards and, and, and have a great deal of respect for. And we want to make sure that we recognize them in some form or fashion publicly. Um, before we do that, we have two uh, specific awards that have come come into uh, from the state that was nominated from our school and they are called the uh, Vince Dooley Awards. Each year there's one male and one female uh, that is uh, one of our most well-rounded kids that is nominated by multiple coaches and then our entire athletic uh, department uh, votes on this before sending in the names to the state and uh, this year our, our girl is Miss Victoria Tory Caldwell. Uh, she will be, she's the representative for uh, the Vince Dooley Award for her County High School for 2020. And our male is Mr. Dale Thornhill. Um, we'll be getting these uh, plaques to you. Uh, that also comes with uh, some things that you should have received uh, by email from the Vince Dooley uh, organization. Uh, and four-year lettermans, uh, basically to become a letterman you've had to participate all four years in, in each sport and letter it all four years. So not just being you know out there on the JV team or something like that but to be part of the uh, varsity team for four years and that's a great great accomplishment. Um, in the winter sports uh, we have in cheerleading that's Tori Manders Betty Covington, Miss Lily Langley, and wrestling, Mr. Wynn Denny, and girls basketball, Tori Caldwell, and girls basketball, Morgan K. In the spring sports, in golf, it's Caroline Jones. In track, it's Cameron Smith. In track, Makai Austin. In track, Tori Caldwell. In track, McCory Smith. In baseball, Trey Owens. Baseball, Caden Rains. Baseball, Jake Herrick. And in baseball, Mr. Dale Thornhill.
those are our four-year letterments for the winter and spring. Uh, we'll be getting those plaques uh, out to you. Uh, each of your sports are also doing their own thing, uh, either virtually or, or, or some sort of uh, communication as far as turning in things, uh, closing out the years, and, and banquets. Uh, I know many of you guys are, are doing those things uh, as a Google Meet, and, and some of you are doing it through some different, uh, different ways. Um, but be looking for your reminders from your coaches on that. Uh, and a couple of other, other announcements before we kind of get going, uh, you know, on to the next, the next thing. Uh, we have several things that have been asked that I'd like to address right now. Number one, in the auction. Our sports auction is one of our largest fundraisers. Uh, it was scheduled to happen this Saturday night, which obviously is not going to happen. And so many people have asked, well, what's, what's going on with it? Is it canceled? Is it just postponed? And right now it's just canceled just until further notice. Uh, we, we feel that at this time, it just would not be even um, in our best interest or our community's best interest to try to even do some sort of thing virtually uh, or anything like that. Um, so many of these small businesses that have continued to pour into our uh, community and, and continue to pour in our school and, and of course our athletic program uh, have been so supportive over the years and we know that every everybody is struggling uh, you know at this time and it just we, we feel that it is our responsibility right now for us to support them and not the other way around so we're not only just saying that right now our option is postponed till uh, things are completely opened up. We're saying until people get back established and, and you know, and it would be responsible, um, you know, are in good taste for us to even uh, think about asking for some sort of a donation, we're just not going to do it. Um, we're, we appreciate all those guys that have done things for us for, for so long and, um, you know, and, and we'll be, we'll just be grateful and uh, glad to be back playing uh, sports. Uh, no matter what that means for us in, in our program uh, next year. Uh, the Hall of Fame, as of right now, we are, we are planning on continuing to have an induction ceremony for the class of 2020. Uh, that ceremony usually happens in August, and right now that is the plan to continue to have it. You can, have, uh, you can send in nominations uh, multiple ways. Uh, we're taking them, you know, right now for the class of 2020, we have many that are left over from uh, previous years and some that we've already gotten uh, leading up to this this point right now. You can email them to myself at shane.lassiter at her.k12.ga.us. You can find that on the website. Um, you can also submit this, submit it like a, a, you know, a direct message on any of the links that this thing is posted to. Uh, or you can mail it to the high school, you know, and, and we'll get that all that information uh, compiled and given to the committee for them to decide upon the, the class of 2020. Basically, the, the, the minimum stipulation on somebody to be nominated is that, we, that, that would not be thrown out from the beginning is that it can, that person cannot have graduated within five years. Uh, any basically about any other circumstance will be looked at by the committee, but those things uh, will automatically be thrown out. And the thing that everybody's wanting to know: when are we going back to work at out? When are we going back to uh, practice? When are we having tryouts for softball? When are we having tryouts for volleyball? When are we having tryouts for cheerleading? Uh, when are things going to be back to normal? And and quite honestly, the answer is that it, we just don't know. Uh, you know, I'd love to tell you that on this date, uh, everything will be wide open and we'll be back to normal, but that's just not the case right now. Uh, we, we are at the mercy of, of many things that are bigger than Heard County uh, and, and bigger than our athletic program. And, and right now, we are just waiting on instructions and, and, and some guidance on how to proceed um, you know, once we do come back, we, we, we need to have uh, the ability to know that everybody's going to be safe. Uh, we need to have the ability to know that, uh, you know, that our gatherings of some sort are not going to harm the families once they go back. Uh, but we are all eager. Uh, I personally am very eager to get back to it. 
Uh, we miss you guys. Uh, we, we're, we're hoping that you guys are doing everything you can to be prepared for whenever that, that day does come. Um, we're hopeful for midsummer right now of getting back together for all the fall sports, um, you know, leading up for their working outs, their workouts and all that stuff as a group. Um, but that right now is just, is just is simply a guess, to be honest. Uh, you know, but, but what I want you to know is that the most important skill that you can have right now is being self-motivated. Uh, you do not need me to tell you to, to work out. You do not, not need a coach to send stuff home, even though Coach Yates has um, to everybody. You do not need your individual coach to be telling you what you need to be doing or not doing. Uh, there are things that you can do at home uh, to be preparing yourself and be self-motivated. Uh, you know, one of our greatest assets is, is our work ethic at Heard County. Our kids have always worked hard. Uh, our community expects it. Our community demands it because they're a hardworking community. Uh, and, and so we want to make sure that you guys are doing those things um, and, and we expect nothing less. Uh, we can't wait till we can get together and work hard as a group, push each other as a group, get back to playing the things that we love, uh, you know, and preparing for great nights on Fridays, uh, you know, preparing for, you know, softball tournaments, uh, cross country events. We, we, we can't wait for those things. Um, but as of right now, it's just up to you to be doing those things on your own. And, and as soon as we can, we will be getting back to normal. Uh, to, to make sure that we're putting a good product for our community, uh, for our school, and, and basically uh, trying to you know, be a, the best that we can be for the Brave Nation. Uh, we look forward to seeing you uh, whenever we can. Uh, we miss you and we love you. Go Braves.